So this is my reaction to me moving in to my first place in Australia. Hey, what's up you guys? Ashley here. So I am moving, if you didn't know, now you know. Moving out of this apartment, I'm moving out of this flat complex and it's bittersweet, but I'm overall really excited for the next place that I'm moving into. I lived in a four bedroom flat. So I lived in the Melville building where it was four bedrooms, some five bedrooms and some singles. And then Hobart Apartments is one bedrooms, um, all single apartments. And then there's some accommodation in like Sandy Bay and whatnot as well. But I was very excited to get one in CV because I would have like hated living in Sandy Bay, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, nothing against Sandy Bay, but the accommodation there was like all the way on the top of the hill. I know that because Katie lived there for most of last year and yeah, it just would have been a pain to get to whereas here it was so convenient and I'm so grateful. Um, and although the rent definitely was so much higher than anywhere else in the area, for the most part, it was 300 a week Australian, which is expensive when you compare it to like, a lot of other rental situations, especially if you're just after one, one bedroom, like in a share flat or house. But I didn't feel that bad making that price commitment because when you convert it to USD, it is cheaper than a lot of rental situations in the US, at least where I grew up in the Northeast. Like I know, I mean, shout out my brother, this rent is a lot cheaper than what he pays in, in Virginia. So yeah, everyone's decision, but very transparent about that. It definitely is expensive and I'm very excited to be moving somewhere that isn't as expensive, but I don't regret it. Like I'm still very happy that I made the decision to start here and get my feet and then move out. But as I was falling asleep last night, as one does, I was reminded that I did film like a moving in vlog that I did make private for privacy reasons. But I was like, you know what, let's watch it. And then by the time this goes up, I would have already moved and then I'll link it below and make it public. But I was like, let's just watch it together. I have some Hue and Hughes wine, it's chill night. And I'm like kind of scared because I mean, obviously I edit everything myself and I watch everything back, but this is one I uploaded on February 17th, 2022. Okay. Okay, let's watch this together. Okay. Subscribe, Road to 2K, and let's get into it. Speaking of me jamming out to this music, this video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. They are the number one provider, at least in my book, of music, sound effects, all of the above. I have been using Epidemic Sound for over two years now. I'm like honestly their biggest fan. I use them all the time. I use them for both channels, all my sound effects. I love going online and seeing that they have curated music based on your last downloads and based on what you watch on YouTube. And now on Epidemic Sound, you can create a shareable playlist. And so basically I can make a playlist for anyone who wants to click on it and listen to it of all of my favorite songs on Epidemic Sound. And I'm sure you'll hear all of the songs that I consistently use in my videos. Some I've been using in my content for over two years. So many of my favorite creators use Epidemic Sound. So you can try the best music for all of your content. Whatever content you create or want to create, Epidemic Sound is there for you and you can get a 30 day free trial using my link down in the description. Doki, <laughs> just got into my flat. Nice. Super duper fun. Let's do this. Oh my god, I'm actually like, getting emotional. I don't know if it's like actually being emotional or the alcohol. My gosh, I literally ran to Target and nothing was open. I feel so disgusting. It is summer and I am dying. Also, throughback to when I first moved here, everyone was making fun of me for complaining about the heat. I mean, I still do. Like, I don't like heat, but... Oh my gosh, yes, I remember nothing was open because I, I moved in at like 3, 3.30 p.m. And it was during the week and everything closed by like 5, 
and I didn't have a bus card at the time so I couldn't like pop over to Kmart. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna out it now because it doesn't matter because I'm moving, but so I moved into student accommodation, which I forget if I mentioned in this video, but I chose to do because moving internationally, I wanted the least amount of things to stress about as possible. And especially with the possibility of the border closing, I didn't want to set up a house or a flat or something and then be stuck in a lease and the border closed and I couldn't get over or something like that. Whereas I forget what the lease agreement was, but I had at least a month to like cancel it and not pay any extra fees or something. I forget. And then it was furnished. So, I mean, well, I'm still in it right now. I remember that just being like one less thing to worry about. I remember when I like got approved for the lease, I was so, so relieved. Just one less thing to worry about. And overall, I really enjoyed my time here in Utah's student accommodation. When I first moved in, the person who moved out that morning because leases, the turnaround is four hours here. Like you, one person leaves in the morning and then by mid afternoon, someone else moves in. So I moved in at 3 p.m. I walk into my flat and there's like someone's toothbrush, someone's trash. And I genuinely was confused. It's like, is someone living here? Did someone already move in? No, it turns out that the people, one of the, people that lived in here before me never cleaned up after themselves. So I moved into a dirty flat and student accommodation was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we check all the rooms and all this stuff. It's like, yeah, no, that's BS. Mini Target haul. Mini Target. Got a comforter. Comforter. Or a quilt. On. Quilt. I got very expensive sheets. Actually, those sheets were so expensive for Madeira's, but I do love them so much and I'm about to buy them for my new place. Pretty sure all the sheets are quite expensive. Not at Kmart though. We need to set up a fan because um I still have this fan and it still is effed up because one of the legs didn't unscrew and so it's always been crooked. But it's still kicking a year later. So best twenty thirty dollars ever spent. I honestly might have to go out and get a screwdriver. That I had to do. This is disgusting. Yep. Definitely got yep. sunburned today. Wear your sunscreen. Always. Gosh, those doors are so heavy. They are still very heavy. Like you will see, I always have it propped open with a shoe or something because they're so heavy that a door stopper for the most part can't hold them. And I just went to Woolworths, which is like a big grocery store. Sorry, the way I said Woolworths. It's like Woolworths. We're here. Um, I hope I'm doing this correctly. Nope. But I have a screwdriver. Got the also, screwdriver. Yeah. My face is so red. <laughs> so the bed is looking super, super plain, but I didn't want to buy anything until, you know, I saw the room because I genuinely didn't know how big my bed was going to be. Like, I had no idea. Okay. Yeah, I literally had no idea. I was like, I could have a single bed. I really don't know. Single apartments with Utah's accommodation, you get a queen, I believe. But... I'm pretty sure all the others should get a single. I have no idea. It wasn't super clear on the website, or maybe it was, and I just didn't read it. How big my room is gonna be. Definitely smaller than I thought, but honestly, um, sorry, that view is still just so... The view still gets me every time. But yeah, I did think that my room was gonna be a bit bigger, but also being in the middle of the CBD and having that view and the common area was quite spacious, having two bathrooms, it kind of made up for it incredible i'm so happy about the corner room mm. really yeah i did not pick what room i got i just got assigned to the corner room which is the best i don't know if you are moving into utah's student accommodation see if you can get the corner room because yeah this is the best room mine was room four i don't know if it's the same in all the apartments i left out because the sun the sun is setting over there it'll rise it should rise over here I'm so proud of myself, guys. It's like leaning because there's like that one screw that I couldn't get. Yeah, a year later, I still could not get that screw. Like with how cheaply the fan was made, there was no possible way. So that's actually on my to-do list. Let me write it down. Past Ashley reminding future Ashley, I do need to order a fan for my new flat. I guess I can do like a mini, mini haul. So mini haul? I got toilet paper and paper towels. What an exciting haul. So I got toilet paper and paper towels. And then I bought two snacks. I bought this like granola cereal thing. And then I got 
I promise that oatmeal stayed in the back of my pantry for months and I forgot about it for at least six months and then it expired and I don't think I ever opened it but loved the granola though also again genuinely don't know who I'm living with nope so let's be living with three other people no idea what's going on but yeah I guess to kind of explain my situation I am living in my student accommodation through university because I just felt that that was my best decision coming internationally, not being super familiar with the area, although I have visited. Also, it, it's really nice to not have to worry about furniture. I just had to buy linens and stuff, which you guys saw. And yeah, it's like fully furnished and everything. And I still 10,000% don't regret the decision and I'm so happy that I did. Like I definitely would not have done that any differently. And also housing here is actually really difficult to find. Still is. This city, it's a small up and coming city and the population is just like skyrocketing. So there isn't that many options for Facts. places to live. So although this isn't like creme de la creme, I guess to put it, um, the only bummer about this is most people that I ran into were first years, which are like first year of university and college. So I feel like that's really downside that I've worked. And it definitely was the main downside with um, some of the situations I had last year here is I was living with a few people that were a lot younger than me and you're just on different wavelengths and most people that do live in the building are first years um, or yeah just under 20 not all but for the most part and moving in at 25 I definitely felt quite out of place especially socially. There was a lot of like cool like common areas and whatnot that I would have loved being like 18 or 19 but at 25 it's just like I'm all set. Thank you. I've run into thus far because people think that I'm like 18, 19 and I'm like nope I'm 25. Starting like so many contacts. Speaking of which I do need to order more contacts. I still have these flowers. They are the dried white flowers that I literally have right here. I got this kettle. That kettle? I was shocked to find this at Kmart. Kettle still use all the time. Shocked, it was only $40 at Kmart. Still kicking a year later. Kmart here in Australia is a lot closer to Target in the States and Target here in Australia, I don't even know what I would compare it to. It's still very much like a Target, but it doesn't really it's like 70% closed. 1.9K views is pretty good, Ash. Like I remember when I first moved here, like I was posting content and maybe I get like 30 views and you know, super grateful, like nothing against that. And then it started getting pushed and I remember checking and it was like 2K views and I was like, excuse me. And then, um, yeah, started getting pushed and now I have all of you lovely people, almost 2K, road to 2K, please subscribe, but yeah, I just remember like within the first week of living in Hobart, I remember just grinding out so much editing and so grateful for all of you. Thank you, Epidemic Sound, and make sure to go check out my full playlist. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was fun, something different. It's just so funny. Like just looking back on your old self, you're like, what? That's so weird, but also, yeah, it's still me. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.